Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome, welcome. Do I have some news for you? Yes, Icon SBCs. Well, before we get too carried away though, now this information has come from a trader in the community and I wouldn't see why he would lie. These guys can be sneaky at times. They've got their inside information for the upcoming promos, what players will account for and how to make those coins. And apparently, Icon SBCs are returning for FIFA 21 and Icon Swaps are gonna be switched up. Now, what I said before FIFA 21 was even announced, if EA bring back Icon SBCs, it instantly makes the game better. It gives us more of a reason to play foot champs for our red picks. It allows us to use a lot of that fodder that we don't really typically want to put towards like a player of the month or something that just is going to be outdated. It really gives us great value for those untradeables. Now, whether or not this is 100% solid concrete evidence <laughs> i don't know uh we've got like i say take his word for it but even if ea don't announce that they're bringing back icon sbcs what i'd say to you is i'd probably suggest holding on to some of that fodder that you'd probably just ignore and put into some stuff that you don't really want because if they do bring back these SBCs, it's going to be huge for the game. And my take on it is that I feel like EA are going to be do, doing their best this year to push out a lot of untradable rewards. Whereas we would have got the coin value, we're just going to get untradable fodder. So it makes sense that if they were to bring back Icon SBCs, because they know a lot of people are going to be able to put that towards something. Or at least do some like random squad building challenges. I don't mind that so much as long as they bring back Icon SBCs. Do we believe that we're gonna see Icon moments? Mm, I don't know, I don't think so. Because on FIFA 18, I'm pretty sure EA made the mistake and that's why they held back on like Ronaldinho and Eusebio because they knew that it was just gonna be far too overpowering. So what, would you like to see Icon SBCs return if it was just prime versions? I think that's still a positive. Like a lot of those prime cards, you can use until the end of the game anyway. And if Icon Swats have been switched up where they give us a few more desirable cards, maybe the Icon Moments in there to grind towards, I think that's a big positive as well as if the game's good and all the other content that comes with it, it's looking promising. That's if Icon SBCs are returning. And from the sources, he's saying that he knows somebody and he's got this information. So maybe they are coming back. That'd be sick. But anyway, we've got nine days until the full version of a game, I know you only get 10 hours, but it's still a, a, a full copy, and we are yet to see a demo for FIFA 21, and we haven't even seen the database yet. Feels bad, right? So we're waiting around for EA to do that and drop it, but what I wanted to do today as well is go through some of the new icons that have been added with the stats, because I never gave you my opinions on them, and what I want to ask you is what icons, the new ones, would you like me to try straight away? Because I've made another FIFA point investment. I know some of you guys are like, oh, Fuj, why are you spending FIFA points? It's so I can make the best possible content and not only have the RTG running on this YouTube channel, but also drop in some nice squad builders, uh, some player reviews, and just really try out all of those cards that maybe you guys are working your way up towards. So if you like the content, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. But anyway, Peter check. Now he's one of those cards, right? That you're not really gonna wanna pack and you're not gonna wanna buy off the market. But I guarantee if you get him untradeable, he's probably gonna play pretty well in game. Um, the middle version, I think it's gonna be solid to use. Um, and then you've got the prime, the baby one, yeah, is, is what it is. Um, if they continue with that theme of maybe giving out like base icon SBCs and middle icon SBCs in the icon swabs, yeah, chances are you'll see a pet check, but world class, unbelievable, true icon. Uh, next one is Vidic. Now, this is the player that I cannot wait to get my hands on. And I was actually shocked to see that they've given him only 90 though for his prime. 92. Like the amount of stats and achievements that Vidic has been able to gather up over the years of playing, I think 90 is actually pretty fraudulent. 92, if his, if his prime Michael moments is 92, 93, then okay. But I think his prime should still be a little bit higher than that. But even the baby version of him, because he's going to be stocky in game, he's going to have that mad aggression, mad strength, and just insane defensive stats. 77 pace. 
on someone that has really good defensive and physical overalls, I think he's going to be insane on FIBA 21. Comparing him to all the other rubbish that you get right now, like regular versions that don't look as good as that. Um, the middle one, I mean, only 70 pace, but still quality. And then that prime version with 78 pace, 93 defending and 91 physical. Cannot wait to use him. Vidic is, I think I personally will buy Vidic as soon as the game comes out. But um, the issue with that is which one do I go for? Do I get the baby? Do I get the middle one? Maybe just try them all out. Would you actually like to see separate reviews on each individual icon? Um, maybe that'd be quite cool. Or do you know what would be like really in depth is if I were to get like three versions of an icon and put them all in the same video and then compare them. That'd be a lot of games being played. Maybe you guys wouldn't like to see that. I don't know. Uh, Ashley Cole, I think this is another one, right? Ashley Cole should have been given some better stats than what he's received and only 89. Hmm, I think he deserves a little bit more, but maybe I'm being biased. Um, you looking at his, looking at his stats, I've got to say on his baby version, would I want to use that? I think so. I think that's a really good option, in fact, because chances are you'll be able to get him from those Icon SBCs or base Icon SBCs. Uh, EA will be dishing out a lot of those 85s. So with his speed, his defending, dribbling is really good as well, I'd say. I, I really like the look of all three of those cards. The middle one, I mean, he lacks a little bit of the pace, but at least they have better physical. That prime one is solid, though. Yeah, I like the Prime one. I, I really want to try the Prime. But we've got to wait. I don't think that EA are going to be dropping the Prime version as soon as the game starts. It's going to be the same case as FIFA 20, having to wait around, which kind of sucks. Uh, Suka, I, I think that they've done um, a little bit dirty. Well, did, he, did he not have like a better version when he was a legend back on FIFA 16 or whenever it was? FIFA 15, FIFA 16. I don't think that I would ever like use this card. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I would have used him if he had slightly better stats. Nah, uh, I, I don't think that his style is really catered for how I want to play. But with the extra positioning, the finishing, um, his speed, I don't even think is that bad. I think that's I think that's a good speed stat to have comparing him to like... Sancho that they've given like 82 or 83 and, and Nabry and players like that. So he might feel rapid in game, but I, I don't think I'm going to rush out and, and go and buy him. Schweinsteiger, uh, that left mid version is just, you know what, right? That left mid version might be great value for coins because obviously he's been set on the wing and no one wants to use that. But to, to quite easily position him back into the midfield, you've got really good pace. You've got fantastic dribbling shooting but you've got everything and and actually okay defending i think that card there is going to be used quite a bit and then his middle version i don't know anyone in their right mind that would want to really go near that when he's got 68 pace but then that 85 defending actually 68 pace like fabinho's only got like 65 ish so maybe 68 or around about 70 isn't as unplayable as we're probably expecting and, and if that is the case then that card there looks scary and then his prime more pace more oh no that's a naughty card 86 minimum in, in all stats apart from pace that's why Steiger looks d disgusting <laughs> looks lethal dangerous Schweinsteiger linking up yes please now Chavi um <sighs> my prediction on Chavi on FIBA 21 I think he's going to be quality and that baby version with 81 pace, like I just mentioned, it's quite hard to come by those cards in the midfield that provide that, that have good quality stats. And his dribbling, passing, pace is all going to be suited for FIFA 21. Now the defending, yeah, he'd be able to chip in with some tackles. Sorry about that, my phone. Um, he'd be able to chip in with a few tackles. His middle version looks um yeah his middle version looks quality i got nothing bad to say about it but his prime that's the one that i want you've got everything and that 95 passing stat i don't think he's gonna really be good enough to be played as a cam but as a center mid or as a cdm see this is the problem it depends how meta the game is and how demanding your players need to be 
uh, if uh, you are running that 4 2 3 1. And that's what scares me. But when Xavi receives the Prime Icon moments, they might upgrade his defending to like 82 or something, or, or yeah, something really ridiculous. And his passing, 99, 98, that's gonna be a quality card. You know, Xavi's gonna be so, so good. And then you've got uh, Fernando Torres. Now, give me your prediction as to what you believe his weak foot and skill moves are gonna be. Because the middle version, I think that's going to be a pretty good card to use until, obviously, the primes get released. I think his baby version, uh, with only 83 shot, mm, um, he's still going to be really expensive because it's Torres, but I don't know if that's going to be great value. Like, looking at that 85 dribbling, 83 shot, now it's not really standout, but then that middle one, 87 shot, 91 pace, that's more like it. But that prime, though, that prime Torres... It's all about like the prime icon moments. Like as we're so used to looking at those juiced up stats, that's what I'm instantly thinking about when, when I look at icons these days. But the prime Torres is one player that I will definitely be investing in for sure. Now, Samuel Eto, uh, I've been asking for this guy for years. I don't know what it is with Eto or Inter. Like just L Lucio, uh, Mycon, Cambiasso, Eto. Just those like all-time greats. I don't know. There's just a vibe that I'm really drawn to, and I just find those players fascinating. Uh, Schneider, Schneider needs an icon card. But Eto is my number one purchase. I don't care if it's going to be the baby version or the middle version. Like I don't think it makes really too much of a difference. But there's, there's not an awful lot in it. You're still going to have the speed. You're still going to have the insane shooting. And on all three cards, he's got the physical. And that's what I believe is going to make him just that much better than all the other options. Maybe not as good as like Eusebio and R9, but all the other maybe uh, new additions and the uh, original icons that we had. This Eto is going to be top quality. He better be. Please don't let me down. Please. Uh, Puskas, go on. Now, Puskas's weak foot and skill moves are going to be pretty interesting. Now, I've been trying my best to figure out for myself what they would give him. I've been watching some of the highlights, poor quality, but he's left-footed, from my understanding. He's left-footed, but he has scored some bangers on his right, but I don't know if they're going to give him five-star weak foot. I would have to give a prediction that they give him four-star weak foot, and his skill moves, because in his time, um, correct me if I'm wrong, he invented the drag back. So if he's been inventing these types of skills, although the drag back isn't a five star skill, I think because he was ahead of his time, let's give him five star skills. M make him a little bit more usable. Five star skills, four star weak foot. I think that's personally fair, but if they come in with a five star, five star, and we've got someone to actually rival Sabio, that's more like it. That's what we need. We need a Yaya Toure to be able to fight against everybody that use, uses uh, Hullet. So Puskas coming in with five star five, that would be just oh, stupidly expensive. Look at the prime card. <laughs> that, is a, that is just mental. Puskas, and then, you, and then you're gonna have his moments. Look at his baby version. His baby version is gonna get so used and abused. His middle version as well with that 95 shot. There's nothing in it though. Oh, physical actually. Oh, maybe that middle version is going to be quality. And the 90 passing as well. Damn. You look at this, right? I think the middle version is going to be better value. Better value for coins. Because there isn't really much in it here with, with the pace. And the shooting, there's, there, you, you're not going to notice any difference. But you get a big passing upgrade. I think that middle version is going to be the one. Yeah, I, I, I'm really looking forward to trying uh, Puskas. And then you've got Eric Cantona. And I was predicting that he was going to have like somewhat pace, but just not be blistering. And I'm actually shocked at the amount of pace that they've given him. 89 on his prime. That card there. 93 shot, 93 dribbling, 90 passing and 92 physical. Like Cantona obviously was insane. But I just felt like EA weren't going to give him the correct stats. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I'd be asking for a lot more. That is a remarkable prime. And his middle one even playing him as the cam. And the baby version with, with that kind of pace and stuff. And then the 90 physical, 90 dribbling. He looks, he looks like one of those icons that might go under the radar a little bit. 
because everyone's so focused on Torres, Eto, Puskas, maybe Cantona is still going to be expensive, but this is a player that I might pick up sooner rather than later just to have that experience and see if he is worthwhile going for. But that prime looks just unbelievable, really. What a card. And then Philip Lahm, that's more like it. And EA have done a very, very good job to make every single version of Lahm playable. The left back reminds me of that Bremer. Uh, really good dribbling, fantastic defending, maybe lacking on the physical, but with his defensive awareness, I don't, I don't believe it's going to make uh, too much of a difference. And then using that LT to go in for the challenges, he should be fine. But the pace is, is perfect. 88, I think, is going to be more than enough this year. Uh, you've got the CDM version that looks insane, but the 70 physical in that position, tracking back, pushing people off. Mm, um, I don't know. Maybe you're going to be able to get away with it in a left-back position, but in a CDM role, again, we're going to have to try the game and get good. And then that right-back version, the prime, 90 defending, 87 dribbling and 87 pace. I think that's a fair stat. I, I thought that they were going to give him like something like 85, 86 on his prime. So 87, phenomenal. Well done, EA. And that's the end. Are those the order of the icons that you have added? Yeah, I think so. But boys, I am so excited just to open some packs, get my hands on all the all these icons uh, to try out for you, start the RTG, nine days. And also, if it's true that icons are coming back, happy days. But thank you for watching. Leave a like, and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.